Okay, so 2020 has been a difficult year to say the least. So I thought that we could end this year with some plant babies. So welcome to our first ever plant haul in the channel. I hope that you enjoy it. Okay, so this year I decided to start a new tradition. So by the end of the year, we'll try to get baby plants to welcome the new year. So let me show you our new baby plants. The first baby is the Ficus pumila. Guys, look at these leaves. As you can see, they have the shape of a heart and they're green with some white or cream color at the edges. On top of that, this is a climber. So you can let it hang or put it on a pole so it's gonna start climbing up. I read that as they mature and climb up, they're actually gonna get aerial roots, which is pretty amazing and I think this plant is just so beautiful. Since this plant likes colder temperatures, I think that I'm gonna put her in our bedroom because it is a little colder than the living room. And she really likes humidity, which is perfect because we have a very good humidifier there. So I hope that she will be happy and of course I will let you know how she grows. The second one is a succulent that I have been eyeing on for a while. And this is the Buddha's temple. As you can see, it looks like a pagoda. And I know that she actually likes bright sunlight. So I'm gonna put it with my other succulents. Right now I have all of my succulents under a Sansi grow light. And this is a full spectrum grow light. They seem to be doing fine. So I think I'll put her there and hopefully she'll be happy. The flowers are a light pink and appear in spring or summer. So I'm gonna try to make her happy and hopefully it flowers. If she does, of course I will let you know and I will show you. <laughs> the next plant is another succulent and this one is the Echeveria cetona. Look at this plant, you guys. I gotta be honest, I haven't had so much luck with the Echeverias, but I've been reading more about them and I hope that I can make this one happy. So they need lots of bright light. So this one is also gonna go with the Buddha's temple with all of the other succulents and hopefully the grow light makes her happy. I also got it because look at her leaves. They are really fluffy and they actually have very small silver hairs. I think they protect the leaves, but I'm gonna read more about them. And if you know, please comment below. What's the purpose of these hairs? So yeah, it's a beautiful plant and I will let you know how it goes with her. Keeping up with the succulent theme, and I think I'm very excited about succulents because of my grow light. All of them are very happy under the grow light. <laughs> the next plant is the mellow cactus. According to my book, this one needs lots of light as well. So I will keep him under the grow light during the winter. And then in the summer, I'm gonna put him close to the south facing window that we have in this room because in the summer and spring, it gets lots of light. So I really hope that he's happy there. So yeah, I think this plant is really beautiful. And again, if it flowers, I really hope we can make him flower. Of course, I will let you know next year. Okay, so we're done with baby succulents. So let me show you the other plants. Oh, the next plant, I'm so excited about it because it's actually our first alocasia. Look at those leaves, guys. And I'm also very excited because it has a new leaf. Can you see it there? Right here. It's such a beautiful plant. And actually, I found out many things about her because I was doing some research. This is a hybrid, so it doesn't grow naturally. It actually comes from the mix of other two alocasias. And just look at the leaves. They are really deep green, and then it has a very contrasting vein, which is because it's really light. And on top of that, the other side of the leaf is purple. It's a beautiful plant. I know that this one is relatively more difficult than other plants, but we're gonna try to take care of it, and hopefully she will be happy. And of course, I will give you an update next year as well, to see how she's growing and hopefully she will be healthy. The next baby plant is this one right here. This is a bromeliad. And you know, I decided to get it because it's actually getting a new flower here, which is really exciting. But also we actually found many bromeliads in our tour in the plant conservatory in Toronto. And they were so beautiful, you guys. So when I saw this one in the plant nursery, I'm like, okay, we have to get it and hopefully we can make her grow as big and thrive as much as the ones that we saw in Toronto. So after doing my research, I know that this plant loves bright sunlight. So we're gonna keep her in this room, very close to our south facing window with our other succulents that we have there. And I have a blue red LED light there for her. So hopefully it's good for her and I will let you know how it goes. The next baby plant is darker and beautiful. This is actually the Peperomia caperata. 
right there. Actually with the light, it looks so striking, you guys, because you can actually see the green of the leaf, but also the black and purple, which is super beautiful and like really striking, no? Actually, I'm so happy I made this video because with the light here, you can really see the colors. This one doesn't need so much bright light. Actually, according to my reference book, it prefers lower light conditions. So this one is also gonna go in our bedroom because we have a north facing window there and we don't get so much sunlight. And I think she will be happy there. And then when I saw this one right beside her, I found her sister. And thank you so much, you guys, for helping me find the name. This one is a Peperomia caperata Napoli Night. And as you can see, it's very similar to this one, but this one is lighter, of course. And with this one, we have more vein. Maybe it's because this one is a little bit younger, as you can see, it's smaller, but this one, you have more single veins. The care is very similar to this one, so I will keep them together. They were together at the shop, and why not just keep them together? So of course, I'll let you know how they grow. And the last one, I'm very excited excited about because it was actually part of my wish list, at least the family is, and this is actually the platysterium. So in the nursery pot it says that it's a platysterium, but I actually tried to research which platysterium it is and I could not find the specific kind. It kind of looks like a platysterium bifurcatum, but I feel that the leaves are a little bit more curvy. So if you have this platysterium and you know what kind it is, please make sure to comment below because I would love to know so I know exactly how to take care of it. Anyways, I know that in the wild they generally get lots of light because they usually live on top of the trees and of course lots of humidity. And the reason why I got it is because look at the leaves you guys, they're super curvy and they're like green and bluish at the same time. It's really beautiful and it's really leafy so I think the green is gonna be perfect for our apartment. So, do you have any new plant babies in your home? Please make sure to share them below or send a picture, I would love to see them. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, ciao! <laughs>